Halfway around the world, medical professionals from Kansas City are healing the sick and poor. Medical missions volunteers go to the African nation of Mali every January. And this year, NBC Action News went along to document their work. Tonight, we begin our three-part series, Mission to Mali. Ben Chandler has their story. <laughs> Welcome to Wela Sabugu, Mali. It's winter here now, just like in Kansas City. That means 90 degree days in the dry season for this West African country. <laughs> Children here steal your heart with one smile, a smile that can hide the brutal reality of their home. We're in a place where just daily survival is uh, the first thing on everybody's mind. People live over $2 a day. So they can, do not have money to pay for medication, let alone afford a surgery. Into that void enters Medical Missions Foundation. Based in Overland Park, they have made four trips to Wayla Sabugu. Uh, these people have very little access to any significant care at all. It's not about health insurance here. There's just absolutely no access to health care. Medical Missions uses this hospital to perform surgeries and operate a clinic. Some of these people are seeing a doctor for the first time. Word spreads fast when this group hits town. People come from the four corners of the country to get this medical treatment. Every year, there's more and more people are coming for cares that they otherwise would have died from or suffer the rest of their life without any other options. Such as Ba. When Ba was two, he drank a caustic poison. Unable to take in any nutrition, he has deteriorated to this. Dr. Tammy Neblock Byrne decides a feeding tube directly into his stomach is the best option. With her team, she performs the surgery. I'll do two uh, purse strings, one inner, one outer. Giving Ba and his family hope for the future, where previously there was none. I think he probably had less than six months to live because he was so malnourished. The medical team makes do with less than ideal situations. What is taken for granted in U.S. hospitals is a luxury here. We have equipment issues that are pretty a constant uh, challenge for us. Uh, power supply here is not a regular uh, commodity. But these volunteers press on in a makeshift pharmacy, dimly lit clinic offices, and claustrophobic operating rooms. They know the hard work and long hours and rugged conditions are making a change in this village. After you're here for just a day, you can see the difference it makes in people's lives. I think we've been able to impact the community uh, and we do see changes every time we come. There is no pay and each volunteer foots the bill for their trip. But the appreciation from this community... We don't want a handout here in Mali. We just want a handout. ...is more than enough. Ben Chandler, NBC Action News. Amazing. More than 90 surgeries were performed during that visit and 1,100 patients seen at the clinic. Tomorrow at 10 o'clock, the volunteers check in on one of their first patients from their first trip four years ago. A remarkable story. I look forward to each part of it. Me too.